Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be uh, going over how to actually add people to the list that you've just created. So as you can see, I have just created my client mailing list and I will actually need to add some people to that. So you can use uh, this button which looks like a plus sign and a little person uh, to actually add people to your list. So if you click on that button, you'll see it comes up with a box and it says that you can actually just add your subscribers in manually. So if you're using this like I would be for a client mailing list, every time you take on a new client, you will need to add in their details and this is how you would do it on a one by one basis. Now you may actually be in a position where you've already got a list of people and you might need to import that. So it really depends on how you've actually structured uh, your information and how you're storing it at the moment. If you have it in an Excel spreadsheet, um, you can easily add that in. If you just have a look at your drop down list on the side of your, your uh, mailing list options here, you'll see that uh, you've got an import setting. So if you click on import, there are quite a few different ways to actually import your information. Um, now the good thing about MailChimp is that you can literally just copy and paste it as well, which is actually quite good. Um, so you can copy and paste from Excel if you like. And in, when you do that, um, you'll just need to make sure that in the first column you have the email address, the second column you have the first name, and the third column you have the last name. So if I just open up an Excel spreadsheet here, it would look something like this. Okay, I'm going to have test at test.com and then first name and surname. Okay, and let's just say this was my mailing list. I'm going to just copy all of that down here. So let's just say I have a mailing list of 28 people. In this case, they're all the same. I'm, I'm, this is probably going to produce an error, to be honest, I'm trying to copy in 28 of the same email address, but let's give it a go. So if this is how you were wanting to um, copy in your, your email addresses, you would highlight all of those names and addresses on your Excel spreadsheet and then copy that. So that's Apple C with um, an Apple computer or Control C with a PC. And then go back to your um, paste your list field in MailChimp and just paste that in with Control V. Okay, and then you can click import list. This may actually error out. No, it doesn't seem to be actually. So this is now just confirming that I've got the columns all in the right place. So as you can see, I can name this column, which is email address, that's fine. I'm gonna click okay. First name, that's fine. I'm gonna click okay. And then last name, fine. Okay, let's just say we're done, click done. And that's actually going to, that's, yeah, as I say, that's had a syntax error, but actually if you're importing a real email list, that is the way to do it. And it won't actually have um, any syntax errors because you'll obviously have different email addresses. Um, so that's how you would import your list if you were doing it from an Excel spreadsheet. Um, you can also upload from various different files or you could import if you've got um, all of your lists within, say, your Gmail account. You can use your Google contacts to actually uh, go through and import that. Um, so have a go. If worse comes to worse, if you've got an out, something, something like Outlook, which a lot of people have difficulty exporting all of their names from, if worse comes to worse, if it's not too many, you could add them on an individual basis. And the good thing is once they're in MailChimp, you can export them out quite easily and then put them into another system. So I hope that's helpful. Um, that's adding, adding contacts to your mailing list. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, mail at kerrywilliams.net. Thank you.